Vintage, and we are doing the German chocolate treats. So, this is the brownie cheesecake that is on the dessert and spectaculars card number 10 from our Betty Crocker recipe card index. So, this called for that um, package of German chocolate brownie mix. I couldn't find German chocolate brownie mix, so I ended up with salted caramel because they wanted you to put like some of the um, coconut frosting inside to make the crust. So because it had that little caramel packet, that's what I ended up using. So, well, we're gonna use. So um, let's see how it turns out. Let's go through those ingredients. All right, everyone. So these are the ingredients for the brownie cheesecake that we're gonna make out of the um, Betty Crocker recipe cards. So it had called for a, um, oh, what do I wanna say? A German chocolate um, brownie mix. They don't have German chocolate. So I got the brownie salted caramel and I did that because it said to mix the the coconut mixture in with the brownie mix in one egg. So this has the salted caramel mix. So I'm gonna mix the salted caramel in with the brownie mix and the egg. That's gonna be our base. So you're supposed to put that in an ungreased 13 by nine. So then the cheesecake layer is two boxes of um, softened cream cheese, eight ounce, a three quarters cup of sugar, two eggs, and then two teaspoons of vanilla. And then on top of that cheesecake layer, then there is a sour cream layer, which is two cups of sour cream, a quarter cup of sugar, and then a tablespoon of vanilla that that is mixed and then put on top of the cream cheese layer. So let's get started with that. So I'll come right back. All right, so I have the brownie mix in here and I'm just gonna put that caramel in here. So this is supposed to be our crust. I think this, the caramel would actually probably been really good on the top. All right, so you got the caramel in there and then I'm gonna put the one egg so it's just supposed to be pretty dry and crumbly, and we're just going to slowly mix this together. And see how crumbly it'll get. Um, I think I'm supposed to add a teaspoon of water too. So let me get a little bit of water and we'll finish this. So, I have to put it in with the egg and I forgot. All right, so I got the water. I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there. So we just want a crumble mixture that we are going to put into the pan. That actually looks pretty good. All right, we'll get it pressed into the pan, hang on. So I'm just pressing this brownie layer into this pan. And then we will make the cream cheese topping to go onto it. I'll get this all pressed in. All right, everyone, so we got our cream, two things of cream cheese in here. We're going to mix this together. This is softened. I have two eggs that I'm gonna mix into this. And we also have three quarters cups of sugar that we're gonna mix into this also. So this is our cream cheese layer and two teaspoons of vanilla. So we want to get this mixed really well together. 
and then we will pour this on top of our brownies that's in our pan that we've spread out. All right, I'm gonna get this mixed really good and then we'll spread it on top. All right, you guys, I just really wanted to make sure that I like scraped the sides of the bowl and that there wasn't any like cream cheese hanging out by itself. So I do have my brownie mixture spread into here. So I'm just going to pour this cream cheese mixture on top of this. And then this will go into a preheated 350 degree oven and we will bake it for 25 minutes. All right, let's just spread this. Nice and even on top of our brownie mixture. All right. Let's see how this bakes. All right, everyone. So the cheesecake is almost done. So we're just going to do our two cups of sour cream. This is the topping that goes on top of the um, mixture, when it, the cheesecake when it comes out. So I'm just going to get all this sour cream out of here. This was 16 ounces, so there's eight ounces in a cup. So in this, there was a quarter teaspoon of sugar and a tablespoon of vanilla. And I was just going to use a whisk. I figured that would be fine just to get this all mixed together. And then this is supposed to go on top of our cheesecake when it comes out of the oven. And then once that comes out of the oven and we put this on, then we um, put it in the refrigerator to let it cool. All right, I'll get you when it comes out of the oven. All right, everyone, this is our cheesecake. It came out of the oven. I just made sure that like when I moved it, like it didn't jiggle anymore. So I just kind of like wanted to make sure that that center was cooked. So then we have our cream cheese topping that we are going to put on the top. So this was that two cups of sour cream, quarter cup of sugar and um, a tablespoon of vanilla. So we're just gonna spread this out on the top of this. And then we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for at least eight hours. And let it all cool down. All right, we'll try it when it's all done after it's cold. Bye. All right, everyone. Thoughts on our German chocolate treats, our brownie cheesecake? Um, my crust did not turn out. So I don't know if that was because it said that it should be crumbly and mine really wasn't crumbly. It was more of a spread. And so then it, it like didn't cook. The cheesecake part on top of the brownie mix was good. That had cooked, like I even showed you, I made sure that it wasn't jiggly anymore. But so then it's like, there's this like brownie mixture that's just raw underneath. So um, if it wasn't for the brownie mixture, it would be good. But I mean, that could be my fault because maybe I added too much water and made it too um, mixed, you know, loose, and it wasn't real crumbly then. But it's so rich with that um, uncooked brownie mix on the bottom that um, it's really hard to eat the brownie mix. But if you eat the cheesecake part, it's pretty good. So with that being said, um, I don't know what we're doing next week. You're gonna have to stop in and find out and um so thanks for stopping by this is lynn from Halen vintage don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much for helping my channel grow and let's see what we can come up with to find out some more retro recipes i'll talk to you soon bye thanks for stopping by everyone